Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we'll be technically reviewing CAM solutions for sliding head technology and advanced mill turns. Now, Mark, thank you very much for joining us today pleasure. in the MTD studio. Absolute pleasure. Now, Mark, firstly, before we start <laughs> reviewing this technology, can you, can you just give us an overview um, of the technology that you offer? Okay, so we offer full support for all multi-axis uh, built-up machines, whether it's from, if you like, your traditional XZC machines, going up to the addition of a Y-axis sub-spindle, uh, multi-turret on there, right the way through to, as you see on here, this is on SR38, the sliding head starter machines on there, which obviously gives us a lot more um, challenges on, on what we need to uh, support within the software. So this has been developed over the last probably since the dot of solid cam in the background but um, say for the advanced mill turn side of things that's really in the sliding head that's really been developed and uh, say we've had full support for the last uh, say four or five years so uh, yeah a lot of development going on but uh, yeah it's been well worth it big market for us now well let's start um, specifically on sliding head technology then you you've brought this to the market quite recently yeah um, Tell, tell, tell us why. As I say, the software has been uh, available to support it for the last four or five years. And we've been out there showing people it for four or five years, but not really pushing it, just making sure that we're comfortable with it in the UK to make sure the software, the technology and everything is there, but more to make sure that we have the infrastructure in the UK, the people behind it to support it. It'd be pointless taking out a brand new product on there and not having the control and the um, knowledge in the UK to support it. Customers will need support, it's a high-end solution. They'll need the help of a backup on there. The post-processors, one of the parts of it, these machines are complex. They need a lot of firm help and guidance to get things up and running. We took the uh, decision not to promote this and to, to go 100% into the UK market or five years ago because we needed the support. So we've put all the infrastructure in place now. Um, we've got engineers, we've got a department purely for sliding head and advanced mill turn. And now we can do everything from the UK, whether it's te um, post process, technical support, we can go on site and do tri cutting trials, this type of thing. That's all from the UK. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of the case studies and, and success stories yeah. shortly. But before we get to that, Historically, you know, sliding head companies were programming directly into the machine. Absolutely. So, so, so what's changed and, and why does this technology benefit them? How does it benefit there's, there's them? There's still a lot of companies still programming um, on the machines and for a lot of companies that's still going to work. Maybe they've got long runs on a um, particular product which is going to run for several months or whatever or even a few weeks and they don't have the necessary requirements for it. Um, but then you've also got companies now, the... Um, Parts have become more complicated, so you can have different features on those components which are very difficult to program um, off on the machine. So they need offline in programming sometimes. Now again, some of these companies may have stitched some code in to an existing program from maybe their milling software and just dotted it and played around with it, which is open to errors. Obviously you're taking part, um, a product not designed to go on a slider, to put it onto a slider, so you've got to adapt it that way. Um, but also, what you what you got on there is say complicated parts on there you've now got an aging skill um base effectively um the the personnel who are doing this programming on the shop floor um typically are very skilled and very few and far between so what we're doing on there, we're offering them a software which can actually not replace them. We're never talking about replacing there. We're offering them a way of doing it simply so that it's a tool to make their life easier. And that's what SolidCam can do. It can take their parts, you can program offline, you can prove everything offline, take it and put it on the machine and work with it. So you're going to get a broader range of uh, people who could drive these machines now rather than just for your pure specialists you've now got a, a bigger pool of engineers who could potentially uh, program. I mean these machines are complex as well as the components becoming more complex up to 12 axis in some scenarios yeah. so you would imagine you, you'd want that reassurance when programming such a, a complex machine. There's a and lot component. of things going on in a very small area. And yeah, as you can see here, there's axes coming from various different places on there, potential for collisions and things like that going on. We can predict all that, we can see all of that up front. So yeah, it's nice to have that reassurance that we, before it goes to the machine, 
everything is going to work fine. Mark, some people may say, you know, I bought a slider to do very high volume work. Yep. And if it takes me an hour to write a program or a day to write a program, it don't really matter because the machine will be running for so long. What argument would you have against that? The, there's, in, in a lot of scenarios or in those types of scenarios on there, CAM's only going to make their life easier in terms of programming. It may not pinch seconds off of the cycle time and everything else on there, but you're talking about potentially having a very skilled um, programmer doing this type of work. And yes, he, he can optimise that to the nth degree, take, take his time over doing it. Where we've uh, looked at projects in the past, people have come to us and said, OK, we've got this cycle running for, um, say, three months. Why do I need CAM? They've had the exact same question as you just asked on there. And we've taken their program and looked at it and actually seen how they're programming it. Reprogrammed um, it in solid CAM with exactly the same cut data and everything else. So our cycle time is basically exactly the same in solid CAM on there. But we can then look to see, OK, could that be done or could we optimise that? Could we do this at the same time? And we can see all of that in our channel synchronisation on there. We can see potential time savings graphically. So, so you're, again, we can you're tell optimising programs, you're reducing cycle yep. times through them programs, you're simplifying yep. the programming. And, and, and one thing I'd like to touch on as well, Mark, I know these machines are designed to run 24-7, seven days a week. But the world is changing, not just... Yep. And now we, we manufacture things. We, we want to be able to manufacture uh, low-volume parts, but to, to, to run them 24-7. And, and I've started to see some scenarios where, you know, sliding-edge shops are running low-volume work. Does it really lend itself to, to that too? It's, it's a mechanism as well of... The sliding head gives you a... Improvements in terms of local support for maybe a long part, because you've got a guide bush or something very close to where you're machining, you, you get a lot of support locally, which you wouldn't necessarily on a fixed head where you could be working away from the chuck and things like that. So it gives you different scenarios on there. But it also gives you, you've still got the technology. You've still got uh, milling from different orientations, whether it's on a B-axis, so you've got like a five-axis unit coming in there, or whether it's just actual radio which you don't necessarily have on a milling machine. So what you're seeing now is a lot more complex parts, even prismatic parts, which would take, say, three or four operations on a, on a milling, conventional milling machine, now put through either a sliding head or a advanced mill turn machine. And let's talk about advanced mill turns as yep. well now. So again, does it, does, as everything that we've just talked about, apply for the, 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 the advanced mill turns? Yeah, I mean, we've got, obviously, a different kinematic for different machines. The machine we've got here is this. This is what we've got in our technology centre. We've got an ST20 a star on there. It's a three turret machine. So it's still a sliding head, so we've still got all the challenges from that. But it's turrets, whereas um, sliding heads are traditional platen machines that have got uh, tools coming from on slideways, effectively coming from different ways. Now that's giving you different challenges. But uh, we could take a part which has been programmed on a slider, for example, and then move it to a fixed head within solid cam. All it would need to do is remap the tools, because these tools in different locations, but it would do all of that. So yeah, exactly the same technology on an advanced mill turn machine to as a slider. And, and you're talking about different types of machine tools here, different brands. What about the post-processing, and, and, and how, how confident are you that you can, you can achieve it on any type of machine? We have, as I say, we, we took the decision to not go after this market until we have the infrastructure in the UK. We're not reliant on anywhere else in the world for post-processors. We can write everything here. We'll go on site, prove it all out, prove we can cut it. We've done two, three, four channel machines um, to very complicated machines on there. So we have the expertise locally to do that. One of the things we've also done is as uh, here, this is the SR38 from Star. This is the first machine which Star gave us to put in our technology center. So we'll prove it. We'll actually show people, invite people to come to our place and show what we're doing, prove the technology, prove it worked. We also go on customer sites for that as well. So if they, again, if they want us to prove it on their machines, we can do that so as well. So you practice what you preach. Absolutely. And yeah. how important, you mentioned STAR, how important are these relationships and partnerships to you guys at SolidCam? Um, very, very important. Whether it's on a customer level, actually having a very happy user base and people who will talk about us within the, the market or on a... Um, machine tool level, people like Star, um, they've obviously um, seen what we're doing, backed us, put the, the machine in our technology centre. They also um, have seats of solid cam within their application department now, and again, they're talking about us to their customer base. So these relationships are very, very important. 
Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure. For people that want to visit your tech centre yep. or want you to come on site and prove... Please contact prove, us, yeah. Um, and you can find the information uh, about this on the screen. Thank you very much, Mark. It's Thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much.